Nearly two years into this global pandemic, and nurses at public hospitals in New York City are still saying they do not have what they need. Our emergency rooms are overflowing. Just this week here, we've had upwards of 40 patients waiting for beds. And with the current crisis with COVID, it's just adding more and more of a strain. Outside Jacobi Medical Center in the Bronx, nurse after nurse after nurse describes the conditions that they have to deal with every day. I'm expected to be a med surge nurse, an ICU nurse, a trauma nurse, an ER nurse, a pharmacist, a preceptor, and I simply can't. I can't do it. Overcrowding, delays, and lack of resources are forcing many of them to leave their jobs. Why are the nurses leaving? Because we're tired. It's not because we don't want to care for our patient. We're tired. We can't take it anymore. They say they were barely able to accommodate the victims from last Sunday's fire that killed 17 people in the Bronx and claim they have to go back to work despite showing COVID symptoms. Nurses are being, quote unquote, advised to return to work, yet they're still symptomatic. Yet they're still expected to care for your dad, your mom, your sister, your brother, your daughter. They say money is a temporary solution. Instead, they're calling for a change in the health care system. In New yep. York, we need to pass the New York Health Act. We need yeah. single-payer health care. Yeah. Across the country, we need Medicare for all. The New York Health Act would provide universal health care coverage to every New Yorker. We need our government officials at the federal, the state, and the city level to step up. Step up and help our nurses. The New York Health Act is currently in the Senate committee and elected officials say it could take up to six months until they see any progress. But nurses say they need help now. At Jacobi Medical Center, Giovanni Diaz, Pix11 News.